Hi guys, uh, my name is Samantha. This is an intermediate advanced writing class. So today we're going to be doing some creative writing. Um, I'll give you four different writing prompts and then you can write creatively based on um, the prompt of your choice. And then I'll get you to present your writing and then we will go back and I'll edit it for you. So. Um, you can join class right away if you have a reservation. So if you check out verbling.com slash get reservations, um, you can get reservations by liking the Facebook page, um, inviting your friends to Verbling. There's a video that you can watch there to get a reservation. Or you can become a premium member at verbling.com slash premium. It's $25 a month for a membership, and that gives you unlimited reservations to classes. So. Um, come on in as soon as the button is green, or if you're premium, you can come in when it's blue. Um, hi, Alda. Hi, good morning. How morning. are you? Good, how are you? Uh, pretty good, too. What time is it for you? Uh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, me I'm too. Where are you from? I'm in Spain right Spain, now. Okay. Where in Spain are you? Uh, I'm in a little town. Uh, quite close to Madrid. Okay, cool. Maybe you know Madrid. Yep. Um, I actually, I'm really excited. I just got a job for September in uh, Cordoba. Yeah, really? So I'm moving to Spain, yeah. Oh, it's a great city, Cordoba. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It looks really nice. It's not too, too big, but it looks nice. It's quite nice. <laughs> cool. I'm excited. Um, Better than Madrid, I I recommend you. Better than Madrid. Yeah, why is that? I wasn't sure if it, um because I live in Paris right now, and oh. it's a bit much for me because um I've always had um I've always lived in a small town, and then moving here, it's like crazy with this city city life. I'm not very good at it. Yeah, <laughs> in comparison in comparison with Paris, it's uh. It's not, I don't know, I'm finding it easy, but it is, it is a cozy place I love. Well, yeah, it looks okay. very nice. Um, no, I like Paris is great, of course it's Paris, but um, it's uh, too big of a city for me. I don't like the metro. and. So do, yeah. you, you would prefer Cordoba than, I than Madrid? I think so. <laughs> yeah. I think a year is enough. I'm ready to. I'm ready to leave now because it's it's too, too crazy the lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> so and I the weather is great during all the year throughout all the year. Is uh, you will have a great weather. It was I funny. Wouldn't... I was um, having a an interview with my boss, or he'll be my boss soon, and he was saying, uh, "Don't forget to pack like really warm clothes for the winter." Like, we have a really cold winter for, like, three months. I was like, oh, yeah, but how cold does it get? He's like, well, sometimes we get snow. It's like, yeah. You know I'm Canadian, right? He's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he said uh, it gets down to, like, two degrees or something. I was like, oh, man, that's not cold. <laughs> but it looks very nice, so. Um, hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Sorry, Salvatore, it's not... A beginner class, but um, you can still come in if you want to practice your writing. Hi, Mustafa. Hi, Samantha. Hi, everyone. Um, so this is a writing, creative writing class. So today, I'll be getting you guys to write creatively based on a few writing prompts, um, and then I will go and actually edit your writing for you, and I'll get you to present it to everyone in class. Um, So, if you, everyone goes to Google Drive, yeah. there's a shared writing document there. I'll paste, oops, I'll paste the link in the chat. Um, you should be able to see it, but let me know if you have any trouble. There's the link. Okay. Okay. So, maybe we'll just really quickly just introduce yourself. Everybody tell us your name and where you're from. And then we'll get to writing, okay? So, I'm Samantha, I'm from Canada, and I live in Paris, and it's nice to see everyone here. It's 10 a.m. in Paris, right? So, good morning to everybody. Um, hi, Yasin. 
Can you hear me? <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Um, Alda, we've met. Hello again. <laughs> Hello, um, everybody. Uh, and Andrea? Andrea. No, Yasin, I can't hear you. Um, test, try testing your microphone settings. Um, or if you're having trouble, you can click help in the bottom right, left corner. <laughs> and it should be able to um, help you out with your settings there. Hi, Igor. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Republic of Moldova. Great. And what time is it? It's uh, 11 o'clock, 06. So we're not too far apart, just about an hour. Hi, yes. Ivan. Hello, Ivan. Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> yeah, fine, thank you. Good. Where are you from? Italy, Milan. Oh, awesome. I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to go to <coughs> Hopefully, I'll visit soon. Okay, okay. I'm, uh, I'm from Italy, and uh, um, today in uh, 10 o'clock. <laughs> Perfect. Fine. Okay. Cool. Uh, Frickin, hello. Are you ready to write? Yeah. Wh where are you from today? Where do you want me to be from? I don't know. Mm. You're tired. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask you later. <laughs> Hi, Mustafa. Hi, Samantha. How are you? Fine. How are you? Good. Thanks. Where are you from? I'm from Iraq. Cool. I thought you were going to say horses land. That's what you've been saying. Oh, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice to see you. And hi, Nemo. Is your microphone hi, working? Okay, cool. Yeah, it's working. Where are you from? I'm from Egypt. Excellent. And okay, let's get started. So um, again, if we all go to Google Drive or you can click the link. Also, to everyone who's watching, hello. Um, if you guys want to participate from outside, you're more than welcome to participate. So um, you can just click on the document and you can do your writing there and then I'll edit it for you afterwards. Um, so I'm just going to give some more space between these writing prompts. So everyone try to click on the document. Um, let me know if you're having any trouble accessing it. I think it should be okay. Maybe I'll make it a bit bigger. The time okay. machine. Um, so to everyone watching, you're welcome to participate by writing in the document. Yeah. So um, we have four writing prompts for you. Um, or there's the last option is free writing. So you can choose your topic and write whatever you want if you're like super creative. Okay. So okay. Um, the first topic is the time machine. Says if you had a time machine, where would you go and what would you do? Who would you talk to? What would the world be like? So I just want you to imagine um, what would happen if you had a time machine and you could travel to any time, any place in the world. Um, and you can just write us a few paragraphs. The second one is um, kind of like Harry Potter's invisibility clo cloak. So <laughs> your friend made an invisibility potion and the two of you plan to drink it tomorrow. It lasts for 24 hours. What will you do? So what would you do if you had an invisibility potion? Yes, you can travel to fairy tale land, of course. <laughs> um, next one is called The Whole World is an Ecosystem. So it says, imagine you drank a glass of water today. Ten years later, if you go to Antarctica and drink a glass of water, it's likely that one of the atoms you drank will be in that same cup. Write about how the atom got there and what it did along the way. Um, another version of this is like a dollar, a dollar bill, or I wanted to say a loony, but I, don't, I think someone might make fun of me. Um, <laughs> a dollar coin. Uh, so you can imagine you paid for something with your dollar coin, and then ten years later you have the same dollar coin in your hand. So you can describe its journey. What did it do for ten years? Um, okay. And then the next one is the alien school. It says, I don't 
don't know why, but today I got up early, went to school um, to finish my homework in the library. When I got there, I had a problem with math, so I went to the teacher's room to find Mr. Barnaby. I opened the door and was surprised to see that all of my teachers were aliens. So, this is for alien lovers. If you guys are alien people, you can write about aliens. Okay. And then the last one is a free topic. So, if you're super creative and you just have the urge to write something, then you can write whatever you want. You can decide. Okay? okay. Um, so, guidelines please just type your name and then you can just start writing besides your name. Um, You'll probably get a chance to write two of them, uh, maybe three, depending on the time. So just write your name, and then you can write um, after that. Please use proper grammar, <laughs> um, because I will be editing it afterwards. Um, probably write like one or two paragraphs, just kind of like a long paragraph. I'll give you about 10 minutes to do it, but you can ask questions as you're writing. If you're trying to think of a word and you can't, or you need help uh, conjugating a verb, you can talk while you're writing and just ask, okay? Does okay. everyone understand? I understand. All good? <laughs> All right. You can start writing whenever you're ready. I'm going to change the color of the prompt so they see uh, it. Sorry, can we, can, we, can we write in another document and then... Uh, finally, uh, paste it. Paste it. Yeah, definitely. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Whatever, whatever works for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Of course, there's a hedgehog in Frickens. Are you reading my... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, if it's easier, if you're having trouble typing into the document, just write it on your computer and then paste it. That's fine. No, it's um, Andrea, you're upside down. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have some problem with my with the driver of my webcam. Oh by the way, Spider Man turned the normal woman. He bought she bought a new camera. Oh really? Yeah. I never get to see Abigail in class because of the time difference. Yeah. Hi Maria. Hi. <laughs> I couldn't stay away. I, I weren't you're so good at creative writing, too. I'm glad you're here because you chose an <laughs> awesome lesson. Thank you. Um, so I've got four topics there, or you can do a free writing. So you just choose and write about whatever you want. <laughs> what is a po po potion? Potion. 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 What a is potion that? is like what a witch makes or a scientist when you like oh. mix different things together and it's like bubbling in a tube. That's a, a potion. Okay. So an invisibility potion, it's like something you would drink and then you become invisible for 24 hours. Exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I only see two people writing in the document, so if you guys are having any trouble accessing it, let me know. Oh, I have, I have a problem because I'm trying to write something, but uh, it doesn't work. Uh, it's not working. Yeah. If it's if it's not working, um, you can write on your own computer in like Notepad or whatever, um, and then you can try to paste it in the document, or you can just paste it in the chat, and and I'll put it in the document for you. Um, okay, great. The second, the second prompt is like more physics. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know much about atoms, but it's a um, small particle. Okay. Yeah. So it's like um, a particle, a water particle that you drank ten years ago, 
ends up back in your cup ten years later. And uh, you're supposed to think about what what like journey it went on for ten years. Absolutely. Or I was saying you could change it and do it like a dollar coin where you have you used a coin to pay for something and then you find the same coin ten years later. And mm -hmm. you have, like what has it been doing for ten years? Okay. Uh does a hedgehog have thorns on his body? No. No. What do they call? Um I I wanna say like spikes. Let me see. Spike. Not thorns though. Yeah, it would be the same as a porcupine mummy. Oh quills. Quills. Mm. Quills. Hi. Hi, Samantha. Can you hear me? Yep. How are you? Hello. Good. How are you? Okay. Uh, must we write about one topic? Yeah. So, um, if you go to Google Drive or if you click on that link I pasted, um, I've given you four different topics that you can write about. Or, um, if you're feeling really creative. There's a free writing, so you can write about whatever you want. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Can you give me a word that describes how amazing a poem is? A poem? Yeah. Mm. Let's take it. <laughs> so cliche. Sorry. <laughs> it's like not the teaching class. I'm gonna use a thesaurus. One second. We'll find like a really, really cheesy word. Stupefying. <laughs> I know that's what it's about. That's a good word. No. Sensational. Uh -uh. Vivid. Invigorating. It's not invigorating. Oh. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me take a look at the context. When he, one sec. The poet was having trouble finding. Uh, Like a topic, try, trying to find a topic? Inspiring? No, he's going to watch an inspirational video after that. Mm. Just use the like creative for now and then um, we'll go back and try to edit it. <sighs> okay. Otherwise you'll get stuck on that word. Here's the link if anyone's having to do. How can I describe a thing like someone crying and saying something like it's like exclaiming, but it's different. Like you go into the room and crying, someone is coming. Like you screaming, like someone's coming, like that. Yeah. Um, you could say exclaiming. I used that word before. You could just say crying. Someone cries. So it's generic. Um, bellow. It's like a beast word or something. The beast. No, you, a person can bellow something out, but it's like you're yelling if you're bellowing. Um, holler. I have no that word. Holler. 
You need a new word that oh. you've never heard of. It's hard to come up with words. I've, I've, we've taught you so many words. I don't, I can't think of any new words. <laughs> um, holler, scream, roar. <laughs> I think that might be a little bit too animal, like. So, um, maybe give you guys about. Four, three, four more minutes to finish up what you're writing. And um, if you're having trouble with the document, again, you can paste it in the chat, and I'll I'll put it into the document for you. Well, I'm far from ready. I I'm just uh, pondering, just thinking. Yeah. Okay. You so have what are we going to do guys? for the rest of the time? Are you, um, we are going to edit for the rest of the. Well, I was thinking maybe you could do two um, pieces of writing, but if you'd rather... Oh, there's a lot of background. Uh, two writing. If okay. you'd rather spend more time on one, then that's fine with me. It's up to you guys. Would you rather spend more time developing one piece, or would you rather write, like, two short ones? I think I'll do that today, because I was a little bit late. And yeah, that's fine. It's, it's up to you. That's why there's multiple prompts. So... You but can... right now, I cannot... Um... I cannot put my cursor in the document, perhaps, uh, because I should go to the Google uh, hang on, chat, the other chat. Is it? Um, if you open the document in a different window, does it work? Let me see. I can make a copy of it, but then you cannot see what I'm writing. Yeah. If. If it's not, I don't know why it wouldn't be showing up. If you if you try it both on Google Drive and in another window, it's not working either way. Um, well, I cannot write in this specific document because it's okay. It's, it's not. Locked. It's okay if you want to. You can just write in a different document and then. Just, could you um, could you post it in the in the chat? Oh, yeah, sure. The link. Let me see if I can. Um, but if it's not working, you can just paste your um, your writing in the blue chat or in okay, whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. And I can paste it for you. Samantha, you finished. Finished, okay. Who is that, Igor? All right, let's take a look. I'm going to share it. Sorry, yes, uh, I, I finished. Uh, I have some problems with Google Hangouts. Mute button doesn't Google work. Drive have in, has encountered an error. Oh. OK, reload. That worries me, so I'm just going to copy this really quickly so you guys don't lose your writing. OK. Um, OK, Igor, can you can you see it? Yes. All right. Would you like to read it out loud for us, and then we'll I'll go back and edit it. And if you guys are writing, you can keep writing. If I had a time machine, I would probably use it to you see the future. First, uh, I would go twenty years in the future to see what would be my life, what I will be, where I would work. Also, I would look at the life of my family, relatives, friends. I will see that something, if something wrong happens in the future with people, I would change so all of the people to be happier. And I would uh, travel in the past to see interesting moments from people history. After that, I would travel with travel machine. Travel machine in future, uh, in future, one hundred years later, to see what will be world like, what new technologies will be there, what kind of life will be on the planet. I would talk with prominent personalities from past and future about all kind of things. I would take photos of them to have fun. Awesome! This looks <laughs> good. Um, you need to decide though if you want to use the conditional or not because you you're switching between would and will. A lot. I will, I would, I would, I will. So it's probably better to use the conditional. 
if I had a time machine, I would probably use it to see the future. That's perfect. Um, first, I would go 20 years in the... F firstly or first? Um, either way. You can say firstly or first. It's up to you. Okay. First, I would go 20 years into the future to see what... Okay, to see what would be my life. We can reword this a little bit to see what my life would be would oops would be like. Let's see what my life would be like. Okay. What I so I'm gonna change your tense to conditional, okay? What okay. I would be. Or you could say what I what I would become, like meaning you know, where you would work in your job. Yes. And where I would work. So you've got to have that and because it's in a list and where I would work. Also, comma, I would look at the life of my... So since you have three people listed here, your family, relatives, friends, you would say look at the lives. Okay of my family, relatives, and friends. If I will see that something wrong happens in the future with people, I would change so all the people would be happy. Okay, so um, instead of we'll see, you could say if I saw that something bad was, ha was happening. So we need to change the tense a little bit here. If I Sorry, saw... Why not if I would see that, would see that something happening, I would... Uh... So sometimes when... Try to unshare my screen. When we're using the conditional, you can actually use the past tense to say, if I saw, then I would do this. Um, mm -hmm. So let me just give you an example. Um... The second conditional. So the difference is trying to get back to the verbling chat. If you were to say, if I if I see that something bad is happening, I will change things. You could say that, or you can say, if I saw that something bad was happening, I would change things. Okay. So if we were sticking with the future tense and using will throughout this, then I would say you should use, if I see, I will. But since we're sticking to the conditional, it's better to use the second conditional and say, if I okay. saw something bad, I would change things. Okay. So they're both correct. Um, usually the second one is used more for something that's like unlikely to happen. If I saw something bad was happening, I would change things. But if we wanted to, you could say, if I see, I will change things. Okay. It's just that it won't, it won't uh, work with the, the flow of the story because we're using the conditional for the whole thing, right? Okay. So if I saw that something bad was happening in the future with people. Okay, so maybe you could say if I saw that um, I don't know, we could change it if I saw that people were doing bad things in the future. Mm, I, I, I hear the meaning that uh, something can happen like um, flood, I don't know, yeah. these kind of things, uh, I, I mean. So we can probably actually just get rid of with people. Sorry, <coughs> uh, can I ask you something? Sure. Uh, why you write happening instead of happen? Was happening, it's the continuous. Okay, but is it necessary? I mean, use the continue in this case? Yeah, in this case it is. Um, 
if if you were to say if I saw if I saw that something bad happened, then that would mean that there was an incident and it was bad and it's finished now. It okay, happened gotcha. and it's over. But I think what um, Igor is trying to say is that there's like a disease, right? Yes. Or some, some sort of epidemic. So it would be ongoing. Something bad was happening. So the difference would be if something bad happened, maybe a bomb exploded and it wiped out um, a community and it, it was over, a finished event. Then you would use happened. I have a question. Something like a disease is ongoing, so you would use happening. I got gotcha. you. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you very much. Yeah. No uh, what can I say? Uh, what should I say if someone is crying, but because of his happiness, he's happy and he's crying or really? Tears of joy. Tears of joy. Yeah. In verbal form? Crying tears of joy. Um, was happening. Um, I would change. Yeah, good. So you could say I would. I would change things. I would change things so all of people to be happy. So you can say so. All all the people. Yeah, or just so everyone would be happy. Okay. Or you could you could say so all of the people would be happy, but you can actually replace that with just everyone, and it makes it a little bit um, more simple. This is good. And yeah, you can you you need to use the conditional here again, so everyone would be happy. And and comma, I would travel. I would travel to travel to the past to see okay. interesting moments from. From people history, from um, pe people's history, or you can just say interesting moments in history. Yes. Kind of more generally. After that, I would travel with with a time machine or with my time machine to the future. So you travel to the past to the future. But what is the difference between in the future, in the past, and to well, the future? If you say that you're traveling to the past, it means right now you're in the present and you're going to the past. That's the, what you're doing, shifting from present to past. If you say that you're traveling in the past, it means that you're already in the past and you're traveling to different moments in the past. So you're traveling from like the 1800s to the 1600s to the 1400s throughout the past. So it kind okay. of depends on, on what you want to say. For me it's the same, sounds the same, like a non-native English speaker. So the difference would be um, right now, right now I'm in the present and tomorrow I'll be traveling to the past versus right now I'm in the past it's you know 1600 year 1600 and tomorrow I'll continue to travel in the past so that would mean right now I'm already traveling in the past and I'm going to continue traveling in the past to mm -hmm. like 1500 or 1400 okay. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, I understand. But for, I said that for me, it's uh, no difference like yeah. non-native English speaker. So I should be native English speaker to see this. Yeah, it's a very difference. subtle. To understand. Yeah, it's a very subtle difference. Very little, for sure. Um, travel to the future 100 years later to see what... Okay, so we're going to change this to would again, okay? okay? So to see what the world would be, be like. like would be like what new technologies would be there what kind of life would be on the planet so we need what new technologies would be there and what kind of life would be on the planet you could even make that a question okay um, I would talk with prominent personalities from from the past and and future about all kinds of things. Period, or semicolon. 
Um, I would take photos of them and have fun. Perfect. That's really good. So the main thing was just um, changing your tent. So you need to keep it either conditional or future. Otherwise, it gets a little bit um, convoluted. So that's perfect. No, no much complicated words I used. Very simple words I used. I, I would uh, want to use uh, more complicated words, but I can't. Right. So the next step now would be going to like a thesaurus and picking some of the words that you would like to change um, and seeing if you can find more complicated words to yes. replace them with. More yeah. adjectives. Oh, more yeah, different. different adjectives. So yes. maybe you want to do that now. Try to kind of um, yes. make it a little bit more complicated. Too, func too functional. Uh, yeah. <laughs> too wheel, wood, and it's all. <laughs> right, but it's really good. So the, the main thing now would just be to kind of make it more interesting, better adjectives, right? Yes, um, yes, yes. So, Fur, can you have a question? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what, do five, what, what do firefighters use when there's a uh, there's an accident, like watering that place? A Maybe hose? you can use a hose. Yeah. Is, it any, another? is anyone else finished? Yes. Who said yes? Me. <laughs> Who's me? <laughs> Mustafa. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Let's take a look at Mustafa's writing. Oh, it's yellow. <laughs> can, I, can I make it black? <laughs> it's too hard to see. Okay. Oh no. What did, what have I done? I'm making everything worse. Okay. Here we go. Adventure in a desert. Okay, Mustafa. Can you read it for us? <laughs> okay. Uh, in one day, Forkan decides to go out from dark side, and he wants to know what happened in bright side. <laughs> so he called his friend and asked him, please, buddy, give me some suggestions. His friend tell him, come on, man, let's go to ride horses. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Forkan say, yes, that's great. So... Forkan and his friend go to to the farm to choose two horses. Forkan choose a black horse and his friend choose white horse. Do you want to know what will happen to them? <laughs> no? Oh, so please stop reading now. <laughs> oh, you said yes? Good. So let's see what will happen to them together. <laughs> There, they are starting their adventure in morning and choose mountains road. After three hours, they feel tired, so they stop to eat some jungle foods. <laughs> are you kidding? Jungle food? <laughs> Furkan feed his horse jungle food. After that, his horse be mad and run away. Oh my God, our foods and water on your horse. What we were doing, Furkan's friend said that, said that. Furkan said, don't worry, we'll back now and be safe. But here's the problem. The map was on Furkan's horse, so they lost in where they don't know where they are now. Furkan tried to call his family and ask them help, but actually there are no connection. So they realize that no one can help them. They are alone in desert. Who oh, no, what will happen to them? <laughs> okay, good job. Um, okay, so the biggest thing I'm noticing is articles. So you're missing a lot of articles like the and a. Yeah. So you just have to be careful about that. But we'll go through and fix it. So good. Instead of saying in one day, you can just start a story with one day. Mm, okay. One day, Firkin decided to go out from the dark side. So instead of saying go out from, you could say to leave. Mm -hmm. To leave the dark side. But I know for can don't leave it. Maybe just try to <laughs> see <laughs> the right side and return. <laughs> okay, so to um, temporarily leave <laughs> the dark side. And, okay. he, and he wanted to know what, what happened. So it's wrong if I wrote in present simple? In the bright... Well, um, you could do it in the present. If you want... Do you want the whole story to be in the present tense? Yes. 
Okay. One day Firkin decides to temporarily leave the dark side, and he wants to know what happens um, on, on the bright side. So, so you need a period here and then a comma after so. So he calls his friend and asks him, okay, please, <laughs> please, buddy, give me some suggestions. Okay. His friend tells, so don't forget to conjugate um, your verbs. If it's a person, like a he, his friend, it should be tells. Bergen asks and wants. Okay. okay. Tells him. Come on, man. <laughs> let's go. You don't need to say go to. You can just say let's go ride horses. Okay. Bergen says. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Okay. So just remember with your quotation, to use quotations when you're talking about um, someone speaking. Yes. So Firkin and his friend go to the farm to choose two horses, period. Firkin chooses a black horse and his friend chooses a white horse. Do you know what will happen to them? <laughs> so you could put this in italics because it's kind of like the author speaking. Yes. You could say... No? Oh, please stop reading now. <laughs> oh, you said yeah. Good. So let's see what will happen to them together. So this is like a side note, the author talking to us, right? <laughs> yeah. They're starting their adventure in the morning. And... They choose mountains road, so like a road along the mountain. Yes. They choose, um, that's how you would want to say it, a road along the mountain instead of mountains road. Unless it's the name of the road, mountains road? No, it's just road. Okay. Yes. Good. After three hours, comma, they feel tired, comma, so they stop to eat some jungle food. Food is um, uncountable, so just food, jungle food. LOL, okay, maybe not LOL. <laughs> let's, do, let's do another side note like this. Are you kidding? Jungle food? Okay. Birkin feeds, so again, conjugating. Yes. Feeds his horse jungle food. <laughs> After that, comma, his horse, his horse is mad and runs away. Uh, sorry, can I ask you something? Sure. Oh, uh, about his horse is mad. Uh, um, is this, uh, I mean, if, if I wrote something like uh, his rule become mad. Yeah, becomes is probably better in this case than is. His horse becomes mad, or you could say gets mad. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Gets or becomes is probably better than is. Um, good, good point. So his horse becomes mad, or you could say his horse gets mad. Whatever you gets. want, Mustafa. <laughs> gets. Okay. Gets. Okay. Um, and runs away. Let's avoid. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> um, our our food and water. Our, I don't know what's happening here. Our food and water on your horse. Oh, like you wasted your food and water on the horse, you could yes. say? everything. He wasted okay, everything. so are you saying this to Firkin? Yes, oh, because okay. Firkin's friend said that, not so you me. You could say, like, what are you doing? You wasted our food and water on your horse. <laughs> And then instead of Firkin's friend said that, you can say said Firkin's friend. Yes. Okay, so you can have your quotation and then with a comma right here, and then said Firkin's friend. Firkin s said or says, because you want it to be in the present, right? Mm -hmm. Firkin says, don't, don't worry. We, we will back... 
Oh, we will go back now yes. and be safe. Okay. But here is the problem. Might be better to say, but there, there is a problem. Yes. There yes. is a problem. And then you can use a colon before you tell us the problem. There is a problem. The map is on Firkin's horse. Oh, the map was. Okay, that can be was. Was on Firkin's horse. Was on Firkin's horse. So um, you could say was with maybe would be a bit better. Was with Firkin's horse. Yes. So they... So they got lost in where they don't know where they are now. Okay, so they got lost and they don't know where they, not there, they are now. Okay, um, Firkin tries, remember conjugating, to call his family and to call his family um, to ask them for help, to ask them for help, but actually there is no connection. <laughs> you could just say, but there is no connection instead of actually. Yes. But there is no connection. So <laughs> they realize that no one can help them and they are alone in the desert. Who knows what will happen to them? <laughs> so there is the next version. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to wait for part two for the sequel. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's really good, Mustafa. So two things. You have to watch out for your articles when you use the and a. Uh. Okay. Um, I can give you a review. I think I'm done. Okay. Um, too. Here's the review of articles. And also, Mustafa, don't forget to conjugate. Okay. Okay, because you were using uh, Firkin get, Firkin say, but you, it should be says, gets, right? So just conjugating regular verbs. Um, okay. But yeah, that's really good. So okay. more people are done. We've got um, Ida, are you finished? I have pasted in the, for the first question. A little paragraph. Okay, let's let's take a look at it. If I had a time machine, I would travel undoubtedly to the period. Okay, so it's actually better if you put undoubtedly first here. I would undoubtedly travel okay. to the period where humans began to evolve as a species. Why? Just because I really admire how they managed to conquer step by step all the planet. Instead of all the planet, it, it sounds a bit better to say the entire planet. Okay. Or the whole, you could say the whole planet, the entire planet. I guess the world in that era was better in the sense that all that shit that is invading our developing countries these days such so corruption and ambition to become rich. Furthermore, I would enjoy the wilderness all around me. Okay, let's take a look at this sentence. I guess that I guess the world in that era was better in the sense that so you could you're saying that today we have everything invading the developing countries. There's corruption. Yeah. People only care about being rich, but at that time that didn't exist. Exist, right? That mentality. Yeah. So you could say, I guess the world in that era was better um, in the sense that they had a different mentality or something like that. And then you could say today, just to kind of separate, because the way this sentence looks, um, it sounds like this happened in the past, the wow, way that you have this written. So you need to kind of distinguish. Or you could say, in the sense that back then, they didn't have all the shit that is invading our developing countries these days, comma, such as corruption and 
the ambition to become rich. Okay? So if you wanted to, that sounds good like that. Furthermore, I would enjoy the wilderness all around me. Perfect. And only one space there. Yeah, that's really good. Really good writing. Um, Can I post mine in in the Google chat? Yeah, sure. And I'll I'll paste it over. Okay, okay. Um, let's take a look at. Oh my gosh, Perkin, it's so long. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Perkin. Um, let me get Maria's here. Which uh, topic is it? It is uh, the atom. Okay. Atom ecosystem or whatever. Okay. Do you want me to read or do you read it yourself? Um, let me just make it a bit bigger. I think I'll just read it and okay. edit it as I go just for the sake of time if that's yes. okay. It's okay. Okay, let me just share it so everyone can see. After drinking a glass of water that day, the atom went through my body and had a really nasty journey <laughs> through the drain. Many twists and turns later, it came to the water treatment plant. Um, it's probably better to say a water treatment plant. Okay. Unless you're talking about a very specific plant, then you would <laughs> say the and name the title of it, like the Smith water plant or something. Okay. Um, it was showered with chemicals in some sort of chlorination process and was swept with the water through a huge basin. As if that was not enough suffering. suffering. You don't need the of. Mm -hmm. it, it now... Okay, so it's in the past, so you would say it then. It then oh, went... Yeah. It then, when. then went okay. through a filter and then through another filter. It traveled through lots and lots of pipes. Lots of pipes, many. I feel like it should be many. Traveled through. Okay. Many, many pipes again. Now it then, really. Then. Okay, then, yeah. Or you could say something like um, to, to avoid it being re too repetitive, you could say, like, and at that point. Okay. It just because so, you said have it then and then. So you mm -hmm. could say at that point. Yeah. It really wanted to see some daylight. Good. Many weeks later, it was discharged into a lake and actually got to see some daylight. <laughs> It really wanted to see some more, so you could say, some some of the more beautiful things. Some of the more beautiful things in life. So one very hot day, it took the chance <laughs> to evaporate. It was a wonderful view from the cloud where it stayed for a few weeks along with other atoms. A strong wind took the cluster of atoms in the cloud. There's a typo there. And Is it? Yeah, you have cloud, ab, blew it, but yeah, I think cloud. it's and, yeah. right? Cloud and, and blew it all the way to Antarctica. The atom wanted to stay in the clouds. However, the pleasant life in the clouds. Okay, so it's getting a bit repetitive. Yeah, I know. In the cloud, <laughs> in the cloud. So mm -hmm. a strong wind took the cluster of atoms. In the sky, you could say in the sky. Or yeah, something. the atom wanted to stay. To stay, to stay in the sky. You could just do this. Join these two sentences. The atom wanted to stay in the sky. However, the pleasant life um, over there, or something like that. Yeah, the pleasant life there. I don't know. Wanted to stay forever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wanted to stay there. <laughs> However, okay. You know what I'm trying to do, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. However, the pleasant life in the sky did not last forever. One very cold day, it partnered up with some other atoms in a snowflake and was released down towards the ground. And was released down. Yeah, that's perfect. So mm -hmm. it's only like four things, so this is really good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's really good. Great, Maria. If you feel like continuing to write, you can write as much as you want. Um, I'm going to post this on Facebook after, so if, if you haven't finished your writing or I don't get a chance to edit it, 
I'm sorry, but you can okay. keep writing and I'll look at it after. But that's okay. really good so far. Yeah, um, good. Great, cool. thank you. Very creative. Uh, let's look at Firkins. I don't know if I'll make it all the way through Firkin, but I'll try. Okay. Um, the poet peeked out the window to see what his <laughs> cute, deadly headshot. Oh, to see what? Just to see his? To see his deadly, comma, cute hedgehog. Is this supposed to be like the scary sound? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I think it should be like this. Oh. <laughs> okay. The hedgehog was so cute that the, that the other people would do anything in order to see his amazing quills. However, the poet was having trouble with finding a creative subject to settle, to settle down Set, hmm. Doesn't work. Creative was having trouble, you could say, settling on a creative subject for his poem. Okay. okay. Um, that means like deciding. So settling on a creative subject for his poem. Oops. The hedgehog rushed into the room and exclaimed with full of fear. Just just full of fear, not with and exclaimed full of fear. Sam is crawling through the bushes and growing nefariously. <laughs> okay. Um, the poet went downstairs and opened the hallway door apathetically. His face his face resembles Resembled. Yeah. Poseidon, the son of Zeus. He roared to Sam, thought think, thinking it might scare her off. Feeling the demigod powers inside his body, he erected... Um, okay, so you don't want to say his body twice. So you could say, feeling full feeling full of demigod powers... Inside it. He erected his body like a bullet, just so it's not his body twice. Got um, And stared at the sun with a breathtaking, comma, epic style. A girl screamed because of his charisma... <laughs> And and fainted, swooning. Um, his cape was made of velvet, velvet waving. By mm, his cape wind. waving. I'm confused about this. Well, well what is the? Oh, material? like it was waving in the wind. Yeah. So you could say it was made of velvet and not waving, but um, like flowed, I don't know, in the wind. Something. I can't think of the word. There should be a different word there, though. I'll think of it after. He cried, regardless, comma, regardless of the presence of of domineering. Okay, instead Tired. of presence, you could just say regardless of the domineering, yeah. terrifying environment, which was rooted by Sam. <laughs> okay, so um, by Sam saying, I'm going to mess you up. The hedgehog was crying tears of joy. Seeing this chickenish coward poet turned turn turn out to be a heroic semi god was just awesome. The poet the poet trampled towards towards to. the crawling Sam. Sam, I sound like a Pokemon towards the crawling. <laughs> Sam got up from the ground suddenly, comma, and strangled his neck with her fiery hands. Um, so instead of and, strangled, so got up from the ground suddenly, strangled his neck with her fiery hands, and gazed at his eyes like an alligator, which is waiting. Oh no, wailing. Wailing? Yeah. Like yelling? 
weeping, crying. Oh, okay. Um, tearing up, maybe? Yeah. And you don't even need witches. You can just skip it. An alligator tearing up before eating its prey. The poet smelled something disgusting. The hedgehog threw up insanely with the effect of... Um, producing a freak, freakishly revolting scent. Sam had to reduce him since the poet was pissing his pants like a firefighter is watering like a firefighter watering a burning building with a, with a high pressure hose. This pressure created a hole in the soil and he fell into it. Sam, comma, as a Canadian crusader, comma, marched with marched full of pride and her tanking cantankerous attitude to march to something towards marched full, full of pride and with a cantankerous attitude towards the hedgehog the mission was simple fulfill the prophecy and shave its hair off sam sam i guess <laughs> laughed like an evil but cool villain and then she blew up the whole building and slowly left the scene without looking back. She was so cool that she didn't see the shrapnel coming to, towards her. Just as everyone was assuming she was, oh, come on, going to <laughs> die. Her mo oh, come, this is ridiculous. Her moose saved her, sparing, sparing her life. It's life, yeah. Spar sparing its life for her, yeah. Um, or not sparing, it would be like sacrificing maybe maybe wasting to spare someone's life is like you were are going to kill uh, them yeah, and then you decide not to so instead you could say giving up its life or sacrificing itself sacrifice itself for her the hedgehog dropped his last words <laughs> oh that's not nice you can change it like like this the end <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. I didn't bold as much because I know you were watching as I was editing it. So, um, oh, we're over time. That's it. <laughs> everybody left. Sorry, <laughs> I was like so busy editing. I didn't even say bye to everyone. Um, Maria and Mustafa, did you guys add anything else that you want me to look at? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll I'll keep a copy of the document and I'll put it on Facebook so you can everyone can see your writing. <laughs> yes, maybe next time we will know what happened to Forkan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Good job, guys. Thank you. Nice seeing you. You guys all have my Facebook already, so I won't paste it. <laughs> yes. See you guys Thank later. You. All these. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thanks. Bye.